Hello Leos. This is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I do personal readings, so if you guys are interested, <clears throat> please visit the website at pinkarygym.com. If for some reason you're having trouble accessing that, go ahead and shoot me an email and um, we'll get it popping, all right? So let's see what's been going on for Leo. A lot of cards wanting to come out there. What's been going on for Leo? Please show me. Two of Swords. Hmm. Having a hard time deciding on something here. I feel the Libra energy. I think this is a moon in Libra. Um, but I, I think there's a level of indecisiveness um, that's, that's spilling over to now. Like, it's, it's been something that's kind of been uh, lingering, is what I'm feeling from you guys here. Maybe a Libra individual that you guys are um, thinking about. But definitely having a hard time trying to make a decision regarding something here. What's been going on with the person that Leo is thinking about? Eight of Wands, a lot of change. I feel like this person may be traveling, um, but they communicate. They're on the web a lot, I feel. They communicate with a lot of people. Um, Sagittarian energy here. But there, there's change going on that this person is... is um, you may see it if, if you're in contact with them. You can see the change in them, okay, with the Eight of Wands, definitely. Hmm. They like to travel too, whoever this individual is. They really do not like to be still. Okay. <clears throat> what's keeping Leo from this person? Please show me what's keeping Leo from this person. Nine of Swords. There's a lot that you're worried about. I'm feeling like there's nothing to worry about. You're having a hard time here. You're imagining the worst in this situation. And maybe that's why you're having a hard time making a decision is because you're kind of talking yourself out of it. Okay? With that Nine of Swords energy there. Gemini energy. Something is like, you know, you almost have anxiety surrounding making this decision for fear that you'll make the wrong decision. You may have a hard time sleeping. You may have a hard time, like, focusing. Um, yeah, there, there's something that's kind of stressing you guys out, I feel. You haven't decided whether or not you want to make a move. That's what's keeping you from this person. You're letting those thoughts trap you. But you see, here with this owl in the window, you have all the knowledge that you need to make this decision. This is all about an overactive imagination. Nine times out of ten, whatever it is that you're thinking, that you're talking yourself out of, it's not that bad. It's not that, it's like, not true. Okay. So, don't make it worse than what it actually is, okay? Okay. What's keeping this individual from Leo? What's keeping them from Leo? The tower. Hmm. Eerie Scorpio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eerie Scorpio energy. This is very Mars energy. Um, I'm getting that this person is probably woke. Um... And they are restricting themselves, I feel. Maybe there's something that needs to happen. Um, the tower is not a firm foundation, okay? So maybe they feel like there's no stability um, with you guys. There's, there's nothing that's been established here. There's something broken, um, between the two of you. That structure is not solid, in other words, okay? There's not communication either. Communication is like not stable. It's not built on 
a solid, stable foundation. You guys do not have that open communication is what I'm getting here. Okay. What's currently going on with Leo? Three of Cups. Either this is you guys wanting to reconnect with someone or, you know, you guys are dating. You're happy right now, but I don't really see that you're that happy with that Nine of Swords energy. Maybe you are actually with someone else, but you're thinking about another individual. And that's where the Two of Swords energy is coming from, um, being indecisive. And the Nine of Swords is like, what do I do? What do I do? Okay. Hmm. What's currently going on for the other individual? What's currently going on with the person that Leo's thinking about? Five of Swords. Hmm. With this Five of Swords, there's one person right there, and then there's two people right there. You know, on the other side of this person with swords. Okay. So, what I'm getting is this person has been hurt, but they put something behind them. They've put something behind them that's hurt them before in the past. Okay. And now there's two individuals I feel like they're trying to find out the truth about. They're, tr they're wanting mental clarity about two individuals. Is what I'm feeling here. Hmm. Because again, I see them communicating with a lot of people. Um, one of those people may be you. Um, someone else. Aquarius energy is here. But. But their concentration is more on one person. If you can see. This person's looking right at this person. And then there's another person over here in a corner. Hmm. Let's see what's influencing you guys. What's influencing you guys? I'm getting that, you know, they want to fight for something. They're wanting to work something out. They want to talk about something. There's something that they're thinking about, but it's regarding two different individuals is what I'm getting. Okay. What's influencing Leo? Just want to be happy. Want to be happy. And, and the sun is also like um, becoming aware of certain things, certain issues, um, certain situations, self-realization, building the confidence up. OK, because the, the sun is all about self. And what I'm getting is that you don't want to make the wrong decision in a situation because your ultimate goal, of course, you know, is to be happy. But you don't want to make the wrong decision. I think that's what you are so focused on. It's like, I don't want to make a mistake, okay? What's influencing the other person? The Eight of Pentacles, they are working. Not only do, are they working, but um, like making money working, but this person's working on themselves as well, okay? They're working on themselves as well. I feel like this person's also been through a breakup where they've become enlightened after that situation and the breakup happened very fast. Now they're working on themselves, but they're trying to figure, they're trying to figure something out regarding two individuals. Maybe the person that they actually broke up from very abruptly and someone else. I don't know, but they're working, they're building on themselves. They're, they're trying to get their shit together and figure out, you know, where to go from here. Hmm. What's coming in for Leo? Four of Wands. Could be marriage for some of you. Committed relationship with an Aries individual. That's not have to be. This, this is all about stability, happiness in your home, a stable home life. Some of you may be moving. 
Hmm. Some of you may be reuniting with someone or reconnecting with someone. Cancer energy, um, Aries possibly. That um, you actually move in with this person. Maybe this person travels to see you or you them. <clears throat> but I definitely see stability and happiness coming in for you guys. So that's wonderful. What's coming in for them? Two of Wands. You have two, four, and eight of Wands. That energy is doubling. It's doubling. They're going to have to make a decision about what it is that they want to do as well. What kind of action they want to take. Because again, with the Five of Swords, there's two individuals that this person is thinking about. They're trying to um, gain some mental clarity surrounding these individuals in order to make a decision about who they want to go forward with. What path they want to take here. And with who? And what I'm getting is this person chooses you. With the two of wands being here and the four of wands coming in for you. But at the same time, I don't feel like you guys have made a decision. You, you're kind of like on the fence. So, you know, they can choose you all day long. But if you're not choosing them, then where does it go? Okay, what's the advice for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? Page of Swords, figure it out. Get it together. Speak. You know, and it does not have to be any in-depth conversation, but it needs to be clear communication, open communication, honest communication. Okay? With that Page of Swords there. What's the advice for the person that Leo is thinking about? Two of Swords. Make a choice. Make a choice. Decide what they want to do. Because they already know. Is what I'm getting here. Because if you see. Like. See the Two of Swords in this one. The Swords are down. It's like. Mm, I don't know. But here the Swords are up. And they have really deep feelings here, I feel, for two people. But I'm strongly getting this person knows exactly what they want to do. They just have to do it here with the two of wands. The wands are all about action. These swords are all about thinking. Okay. Let's see, what is the outcome for Leo? What's the outcome for Leo? Page of Cups. Hmm. Going towards someone here, making an offer, opening up, showing emotion, displaying emotion, not just flooding somebody with how you feel and, you know, all of these like loving words, but nevertheless, initiating a new beginning. Communication, emotions here. Definitely going towards the future. <clears throat> The outcome for them. Please show me the outcome for them. Page of Swords. Speaking. Opening up. Communicating. Having a conversation. I like this. So we have Cancer, Aries, Libra, Gemini, um, Scorpio energies here. Maybe Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, hmm, Aquarius is here. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.